Ah oh, yeah, I'm Moral Barber here. Welcome back for more Mega Man X. Armored Armadillo is up next in our tutorial list, and I'm very excited because I love this stage so much. Armored Armadillo with his man boobs of glory. And uh, why do I like this stage, you ask? Because it has really, really cool mechanics. It has a nice throwback. It has awesome music, and uh, it has a special secret in it later in the game. Why? What's this? Oh, awesome, a ride platform, this is so cool, oh, dang it. Well, looks like I'm going to have to walk the rest of the way. Oh, no, you, die now. Uh, what's this? Whoa, a 1-Up, and an old bubble bag cameo. Hey, look, there you are again. Ooh, how exciting. I wonder what other treasures this, might, this guy may hold. So keep going, another 1-Up. Wow, how lucky am I? A triple one-up all the way. Oh, uh, jeez. So, yeah, that guy is a bubble bat. Uh, nice throwback you got there. And, um, it is very cool because it will drop one up most of the time. I actually got pretty unlucky on that run. And I got, like, three bubble bats where we didn't get nothing. So, um, that really sucks, but... Switch to your. Alright, we can switch to our stone from here. I meant to switch to our fire wave. And. Burn to the ground! Uh, I'm just gonna let him. Alright, well, actually, you wanna go back here and get a sub tank. Those things are always useful. And then we can go back here. Ah. Well, that makes a cool sound effect go up here, smash it, and you can get one power-up for your health, and one power-up for your sub-tanks. Unless you're really low on health, and you actually need both of those for your health, or you're really good on health, and you only need, and you use both of them for your sub-tanks. So, um, I'll be showing off the electrics part at the boss, but, um, at a previous take of this, I got very, very lucky, actually, um, and I ended up getting, like, double one-up all the way, you know? Of course, I don't want to make those stupid beans, but alright. Everyone used to love the... Notice how everybody used to, like, be insane with doing the whole double rainbow all the way in bed and shooter, but nobody really cares about them anymore. Anyway, this is the ride platform, and I love using flame on this because it looks so cool. So, continuing on... Destroy those guys. Switch over to your old fire weapons, hit to the left, and rush him. We shall bum rush him with our flames. Move on, and once again, you can actually defeat this if you have a very, very good pellet arm, or if you have a good, like, if, you, if you're really good at rapid firing, you can get it, but I do not, so looks like we're just going to be going through here. This is like the home stretch. Apparently, I heard from somewhere that mo there are more of those birds if you defeat Boomer Kalanger stage, but I don't know, I haven't seen it. Just jump up here, and you'll get some of this. I wonder why they put a platform here. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see that later. I like that background, it looks cool. So we go on to Spark, no, not Spark Mandrel, we have Spark Mandrel. Weapon, we are facing Armored Armadillo, who can be kind of a draw if you don't have Spark Mantle's weapon. And even still, it can be kind of a draw. That is my new word now. So it's a, so it's a lot like the Thunderbolt. Um, he's kind of like Crystal Snail in the fact that he is, in the fact that he loves his shields. But you can remove it if you have... Uh, he just loves using that one laser attack. He can still use a rolling attack, yep. Alright, that was just cheap. Uh, I guess I was kind of low. Again, he can kind of be unexpected with his rolling moves. So we're just going to switch back to our weapon. It's the Armored Armadillo again, and we shall destroy him. And he's a lot, a lot like Crystal Snail, because he, like, rolls around the area, and he has shields. And I do not like Crystal Snail, and I do not like this guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. There we go. He gets hurt like that. Be careful to dodge these things. You can... Oh yeah, I forgot. You, you can actually hit him. If he has his armor off, you can hit him during that form. 
it's kind of a slow weapon which you can use to your advantage so you can shoot it early and then focus more on your dodging but there he is armored armadillo is down I don't know why I died on him I don't even know why I die so much in general but um all right we're just killing out those mavericks like nothing um yeah so we got the sub tank we got the heart tank we got the weapon of course this is actually a very very good weapon we got rolling shield and it may not look like much i mean it's okay but when charged up it will make a shield around you which will destroy everything that has uh two hp or less which is it doesn't sound that great but it can be very useful for some sections so, um, in the next part, we shall be taking on Launch Octopardo, and if you want to know our, the rest of my strategy, I'll probably be taking on Boomer Quanger after that, and then Stink Million. And there still is one sub tank we haven't gotten in Spark Mantle stage, which we, we will be getting with Boomer Quanger's weapon. So, yeah, that's basically my tentative plan of attack, and I'll see you guys later.